It seems like a lot of um, people are settling for different types of women now, too, man. Like, mm -hmm. I know we're taking the conversation somewhere else, but, like, could you wife, like, no disrespect, you know, to any <laughs> artist, but could you wife a girl like maybe Lyra Galore, who blatantly puts her body out there on Instagram or... Let's say somebody without using the name. Okay, that's that's a good way to approach it. Yeah, let's say somebody <laughs> without using the name. So whatever you think, say... say a description. A girl, all right. Name. I was going to say Lyra and Amber, but all right, whatever. A girl like that that puts her body on Instagram. No, you're saying a girl like that. you still talking about the same people. Let's say, just give me an example of a woman and you ask me what a I want. A girl in the industry. Okay. She seems like she posts pictures on Instagram for attention. Okay. Which most of these women do nowadays because social media is the biggest thing in the world right now. Right, right. Could you wife a girl like that? Or do you need a girl that's not e even on social media if that even exists anymore? I prefer not on social media. You know, but at the same time... It's like time, a unicorn now to find a girl like that. Yeah, but not on social media don't mean you legit neither. Now, say it again? Not being on social media don't make you legit neither. No, it could mean you're hiding something. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's just levels of losing out here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you, it definitely don't mean you legit. So it just depends on the circumstance. I, I feel like it's, it's, you know, it's about that connection, man. So for me, my past fucked up, so... You know, who am I to judge somebody else's past? My past is fucked up. If, if most women knew my past, they probably wouldn't even fuck with me. So that's how I look at women the same way. Mm. You don't judge them? No, nah, for what? I judge them. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if they fuck Plies, Trey Songs, Fab, Joe Button, right. or one of these niggas, I, right. can't, I can't wife you. We can have a good but what's evening. The, but, what's the, but, right, but what's the difference <laughs> in having a good evening? What do you mean? What's the difference? What's Wifeing the difference? is different. No, well, what's she Plies, fuck around? Come on, let's, be, let's get, be real. But where if, does she fuck around and get pregnant on a good evening? That's not gonna happen with me. I'm the pull out king. I've taken pull out classes. <laughs> I was raised by great pull up pe pull out people. Like this is not happening. But you you going raw though? I didn't say it. <laughs> has it, has it, happened, going has it happened in but my life? Yes, but nine times out of ten, I try my best for not that to happen. Fuck, I fail sometimes. Fuck, such and such, such and such, such, such. Why would you even be going wrong, Seth? Well, there's some people I have not gotten wrong. <laughs> oh, All right, here's Thanks, an example. Seth. Here's an example. Seth, why would you be going wrong? If it was Rihanna, I know she has a couple under her belt in the industry. Okay. I'm going directly raw. With, or, I don't give a fuck where it is on the Thanksgiving Day Parade, cable television, directly raw. There's just certain individuals that get that out of me. I'm, that's just what it is. You it just happens like that. Hey, 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 man, each his own, you know? <laughs> but like you said, you took the pull-out class. My pull-out my pull -out game ain't shit. I'm telling you straight up. My pull-out game ain't shit. It ain't shit? Mm -mm. How many kids do you have? I got a little boy. But my pull-out game ain't shit. Yeah, you have one, so you good. My pull-out, it just don't, my pull-out game ain't shit. Ah, uh, man. Period. All right, well, I'm a king Not out mine. here. I, I, <laughs> I get too caught up in the moment. Really? Yeah. I can't come out that motherfucker, man. <laughs> I just throw my hands up. I know Yo, I can't I come out that motherfucker. I'm up. telling you, I ain't coming out that motherfucker. I got something in my notes right here. It says, Plies was giving Valentine's Day advice. Yeah, I'm, I ain't coming out that was motherfucker. It, I'm telling you. What was the Valentine's Day like? Nuttering her directly? Leaving, leaving it in your ass on Valentine's Day. I'm telling you, 14, <laughs> how I can't come out yourself. I, I just, it can't happen. I'm on the fucking pink. Go to go to shine and nah, nah, I can't I can't come up out you. And I and I know my limitations, so I don't even put myself in certain situations. Cause I can't I can't I can't get that mother. I be missing them and all. I can't even get that motherfucker up out of them, man. I just can't do it. <laughs> so I ain't even fucking with you like that. If I if I know it before it even happened, it can't even happen with me. Period. Really? Yeah. All but right. I got to figure out what motherfucking um who your teacher was called. That was a bad motherfucker who told I'll you how to pour that to motherfucker out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a bad motherfucker, that boy. You write a motherfucking book, him. Yo, let's talk more about what's going on in the world. What do you? What are your feelings on politics and Donald Trump and everything that's going on with this man right now? Being a black man in America. I always feel like it's, it, you know, anytime you're talking the political side of this shit, I feel like it always speaks volumes of society. Like, you know, if, if society going to go for a joke, then, you know, the joke on society. I don't, I don't think nobody get in office, as we all know. Um, without society opinion, you know, being heavily influenced in this shit. So I feel like if you look, if you talking about Donald Trump and the Republican side, I just I, I feel like if he going into these different markets and he, you know, beating motherfuckers by thirteen, fourteen points or percent, should I say? Um, I just feel it speaks volumes of the Republican Party. It ain't really got shit to do with the Democrat. Well, I always ask this question because I'm a big conspiracy guy. Right. So it's just what I what I do. And I always ask people, do you feel like the votes really matter or the, the people behind the system? It's like my brother told me when he was in prison, like it, this shit don't even whoever get in office, you know, this shit that they run around and tell you when they campaigning, mm -hmm. you know, motherfucker got four to fifty million dollar campaign policy. 
Mm-hmm. You know, motherfuckers donate that money to them. So the elite motherfuckers who giving them four five million dollars to go campaign, you think they finna get in office and not consider the needs of the motherfucker who gave them the money to campaign? You know, it's 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 in, it's impossible. So for me, I just feel like it's bullshit on every accord. Just because when you run around and you do the campaigning. Once you get in office, whoever become the president, you ain't the motherfucker who 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 called the shots anyway. So you do believe the president's a puppet? Yeah, absolutely. That's right. just how the system's set up. Well, a lot of people, don't, you know, they believe the system. They don't believe that. Yeah. They think you're crazy, you're conspiracy theorists, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And that's like the, the, the pastor at church. Let's talk about you know, it. Everybody love the pastor. The pastor can't do no wrong at church. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just because of what people didn't, didn't bought into. So it's just like more povic. I tell a motherfucker all the time. You got some people that just feel like more povic. That shit is real. That shit ain't real to me. But depending on who you talk to, a more povic lover, they're going to tell you that that shit real. It's no different than what's the other motherfucker who got the, the show that he play the same shit every day? Uh, Jerry Springer. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm all, it's, you got some people in the world that just, they just believe that shit real. Yeah. Regardless of what you say, yeah, they wildin'. Do you do you do you think in the future music that Plaza's gonna put out that you'll have anything talking about real situations outside of um, things you've experienced, like the politics and things going on in pop culture? I feel like I ain't never stopped making that kind of music. Like mm-hmm. I still feel that's important to me, but I also I also understand to my core fan base and the people that been fucking with me from day one. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, sometimes the, the true fan always what people want to hear too. So you got to make sure. How you deliver that shit and how you drop it off to them that you do it in a creative enough way to allow people to sit there and listen for three minutes or three and a half minutes, however long a song is. Because for the most for the most part, you know, a lot of us don't like to be fucked up with, you know, the, what I like to call the harsh reality. So got to be, you know, got to be super super careful on, on how you deliver that shit. What's coming up in the near future for Plies besides music? Mm, shit, man. And besides not pulling out. Shit, <laughs> you just pretty much sum my whole life up just doing shit. You know what, I mean? it ain't, what else the fuck to live for after that? Um, no, I feel like, you know, just trying to do shit, man, that, that's true to who I am, you know, and just try to continue to be the voice of, you know, the people that fuck with me in my situation. So I don't know, I ain't really a, um, a down the line person, man. I, I kind of try to focus on right now. I think I got my brother around me because he more. You know, 10, 15 years down the road than me. Um, I just try to figure this shit out on a day-to-day basis. But I ain't really got no big dreams and admirations, man. I feel like I done did most of the shit that I wanted to do. But, you know, to kind of see myself. You got all the money you want? You want? No, you can't never have enough money. So um, then you got to do more business. You got to come up with more planning. Yeah, but, you know, like I said, I, I think that's the great part about what I do in music. Um, this is one of the few businesses that every dime that I done ever spent into me. You know, I done became my own biggest investment. So, um, you know, branding yourself and, and, you know, you kind of brand yourself in this music shit without even trying to. So for me, I think it was one of the best silent investments that I done ever made was to be an artist. Nice. And you out here winning, man. So um, is there a remix for Ritz Carlton coming soon? We're trying to put that shit together right now. So, I could, I could feel the energy. I feel yeah. like it needs a remix. Who, who you, give me two names you think you're supposed to be on that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. When, you Young- hear, when you hear, give me two names you think you're supposed to be on that. I'd like to hear Plies, Gotti, and Dolph. Yeah. You fuck with that combination? Yeah. That sound like a win-win. I think I think that that's what it's probably going to be. Yeah. Hey, hey, listen. Listen, sir. We're going we're gonna, to, if, <laughs> if it is that, we're going to make sure I drop that motherfucker off to you first. Because you called it. You just called it just now. Um, please keep your word on that. That's for real. Please make sure Kev Holiday stops acting dark skin and make sure he gets me the music. <laughs> so, um, Plies, where can everybody reach you? Obviously, everybody knows your fucking Instagram. Um, and where can girls um, hit you directly in the DM to get, you know, to plan their you know, their, I don't really be in that <laughs> their future like child? That. No, I don't really be in that DM like that. Oh, um, shit, it's, you know, they catch me in the street. Like, uh, I'm a strip club savage, so they might catch me in the strip club, but... Um, shit, all my shit the same. Twitter plies. Um, my IG is plies. I ain't on Snapchat yet. I gotta figure that. Snapchat you actually on Snapchat? Shit out. It's like a um mini. T- it's like your your real life TV series. Ten yeah. second intervals. What nice. you like about Snapchat over IG or vice versa? IG is just fifteen second videos and a picture. Right. Like literally, if we were Snapchatting this whole interview right now, it'd be glow clips. We could do it different angles. Be. Mm-hmm. It looks like a little mini series. But I know, I know, I know a million chicks that's popping off. IG, I don't know a million chicks popping off. Well, no, that's because thirst buckets like us follow them just directly for their bodies and they're just popping. It's like you don't got to buy Penthouse or Playboy no more. You just go on Instagram and it's right there. That's why they're popping. But what's wrong with that, though, sir? Wait, what's I want to watch that? that shit, too. Say it again? I want to watch that shit, too. Like, what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just right. saying that's... 
So how you watch? So when they you, on, Snap, when they on Snapchat, how they on Snapchat? The exact same thing, except it's more footage. <laughs> it's more of a, a more of a collaboration and porn. Yeah, it's great. Soft porn. Yeah, for for them. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Don't but make me how name about names you, again. Your motherfucking recipient. I just I'm a creep. I just watch. <laughs> I just watch. What happened? Oh, no, nah, we were just talking about something. Oh, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. I can see I got to have more creep talk with Plies in a later interview because when we talk <laughs> about the creep shit, the interview gets crazier. <laughs> is, there any, is there any girls, name me three girls that you um, want to take down in the industry right now. Let's just get straight to the point before I we end got, this interview. I ain't got, I ain't got three. Would you have five, three. ten? Mm-mm. 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 Give me your top ten. Yo, I gave you one. I said Riri, and I'm cool with Riri. Riri, I'm sorry. I would directly inside. Now, um, Give me you're your saying top industry, one. what you saying? The music it, business. The music business. Or, or you, it could be movie. Mo- mo- movies or music. Mm, movies or music. I and then we moguls. can end this interview. <laughs> I got moguls. Moguls. No? Who? Moguls. Moguls. Big people. Like That the public would know. That the public would know? I'm trying to be Oprah, bitch. Oh, you see, you're going after the money. I hate that. <laughs> well, I just told you you can never have enough motherfucking money. Didn't I just tell you that? You okay, like that. I see what's going on yeah, with this. <laughs> man, fuck, I'm, I'm going to shoot for the stars. If I'm a motherfucking player, I need to shoot for the stars. So besides that, I say Oprah. Yeah. Well, listen. I want a piece of Oprah. If you, Oprah a virgin, I know. They if, say Oprah ain't never did nothing. Yeah, okay. What, she buy a new pussy? I don't know. That's what they told me. They <laughs> say Oprah ain't never did nothing. Ain't that the story that's out there? She a virgin. I don't know what story you heard that from. I ain't bullshit. Y'all ain't heard that, Cal? That Oprah was a virgin? You ain't heard that? Yeah, that's the story I heard. She both been a virgin. All right. Well, I didn't hear that story. Yeah. So Ply's going to be the first to break the cherry? The I, billion that, dollar that's cherry? The that's the shit I like to challenge myself with. That kind of shit. I don't the other shit. I, if it happened, it happened. But I want a motherfucking try. I want a piece of Oprah. If motherfucking Oprah, listen, I want a piece of Oprah. To end the interview, if you had sex with Oprah right now, I ain't pulling are you out. pulling you t- Okay. Hell, no, you know I ain't pulling out. You ain't going to answer that shit before you ain't start. Hell no, I ain't pulling out. Shout the Ply's, man. Ritz Carlton. What's the new name of the record? He just told me there's a new name of the record. Oh, that ran off on the plug toy? Yeah. By the way, Kev Holly, we still gonna call it Ritz Carlton. Yeah, <laughs> Ritz Carlton, the remix that I predicted is coming out. Hey, let's get it. Let's He's get going it. to attempt to fuck Oprah and impregnate her. Mm-hmm. Plies, my brother, thank you for coming thank to you the for show. Me, big dog. Double salute. <laughs> Love, bro. Same it's like time. a unicorn now to find a girl like that. Yeah, but not on social media don't mean you legit neither. Now, say it again? Not being on social media don't make you legit neither. No, it could mean you're hiding something. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's just levels of losing out here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you, it definitely don't mean you legit. So it just depends on the circumstance. I, I feel like it's, it's, you know, it's about that connection, man. So for me, let's say, just give me an example of a woman and you ask me what a I want. A girl in the industry. Okay. She seems like she posts pictures on Instagram for attention, okay. which most of these women do nowadays because social media is the biggest thing in the world right now. Right, right. Could you wife a girl like that? Or do you need a girl that's not e- even on social media if that even exists anymore? I prefer not on social media, you know, but at the same time, my past fucked up. So, you know, who am I to judge somebody else's past? My past is fucked up. If, if most women knew my past, they probably wouldn't even fuck with me. So that's how I look at women the same way. Mm. You don't judge them? No, nah, for what? I judge them. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> if they fuck Plies, Trey Songs, Fab, Joe Button, oh, artists, but could you wife a girl like maybe Lyra Galore, who blatantly puts her body out there on Instagram or let's say somebody without using the name? Okay, that's that's a good way to approach it. Yeah, let's say somebody <laughs> without using the name. So whatever you think, say say a description. A girl. All right. Name. I was gonna say Lyra and Amber, but all right, whatever. A girl like that that puts her body on Instagram. No, you saying a girl like that? You still talking about the same people? Like, It seems like a lot of um, people are settling for different types of women now, too, man. Like, mm-hmm. I know we're taking the conversation somewhere else, but, like, could you wife, like, no disrespect, you know, to any... <laughs>